management drivers save a woman and her dog who were attacked by a pit bull. They were able to pull the dog off, then tie it to a tree and call for help. The two drivers, Emilio and Jorge, say the rescue wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for a certain program. Wait News reporter Michelle Alvarez has the story. Waste management drivers are also serving as an extra set of eyes and ears for local law enforcement. They're able to report any suspicious activity they may see during their routes, thanks to a program that started back in 2010. During their scheduled route on Marco Island, Emilio Medal and his coworker witnessed a woman and her dog being attacked by a pit bull. The lady tried to protect the little dog, and the dog started attacking the lady. And there was a bloody, bloody incident. So immediately, the, me and my other driver, we've taken action. Both jumped in to help pull the dog off of the woman and other dog. We find some piece of rope somewhere, piece of rope, and we tied the dog. Once they had control of the pit bull, the drivers alerted their waste management dispatcher, who then called 911. Thank God, you know, nothing more happened, but. We say the lady and we glad, you know, we work with the community. The Waste Watch program trains drivers to become the eyes and ears of the communities they're serving so they're ready for whatever comes their way. I see some people have an accident, they can't get out of the car. We jump immediately helping the people try and take it out of the car, you know, in case it's a fire explosion. And we have many, many incidents that one waste management and the program get involved and you know, thank God we're there. Emilio told me he's happy to have been there when he was and is thankful for the training the Waste Watch program provides. I'm on Marco Island, Michelle Alvarez, Wink News. Wow.